Hey future nurses, welcome back to our Simple Nursing YouTube channel. Today we're diving into a crucial skill that you'll need for both your NCLEX exam and in your future career. We're talking about calculating the heart rate on an ECG. Now, if you've ever watched a medical drama, any Grey's Anatomy fans in here, you've probably seen a character look at an ECG monitor and confidently announce the client's heart rate. But how do they do it? And more importantly, how can you calculate the heart rate on an ECG accurately? By the end of this video, you'll be more confident in using multiple methods to determine the heart rate. So let's get started. First, let's quickly review the basics. This is an ECG strip, and you'll need to be familiar with the PQRS T wave. So check out my other video here to learn more about this. Keep in mind that the R wave, this little peak right here, is particularly important in our video today. Today, we're gonna explore three main methods to calculating the heart rate. So let's dive into the 300 rule. This is a quick way to estimate the heart rate or regular rhythms. You can see the clearly marked big squares in blue here. We simply count the number of big squares between two consecutive R waves here. And then we're simply going to divide 300 by that number. So remember, this is the 300 rule. So in this example here, I have about five boxes in between the R peaks. So we have one, two, three, four, five. And so 300 divided by five is 60 beats per minute. Pretty simple, right? Now let's move on to the six second method. This is especially useful for irregular rhythms like atrial fibrillation or even sinus arrhythmia. So you can see here that there's 30 big squares. So remember, 30 big squares equals six seconds. And here's how it works. You simply count the number of R peaks in the 30 big squares and multiply that number by 10. So for example, if you count six R waves in the 30 big squares, you simply take six times 10, which is 60 beats per minute. Now the six second method can also be used to calculate the atrial rate. Just simply count the P waves instead of the R waves. And the P wave is right here before the R peak. Now for additional methods, let's look at some other methods you might encounter. For fast rhythms, there's a small square method. Simply count the small squares between the R waves and divide 1500 by that number. So for example, inside this big blue box, we have five small squares. So there's five big boxes times five small boxes in each one of those big ones, which is 25. So 1500 divided by 25 is 60. Now this is a poor example because it's not a fast heart rate. It's borderline bradycardia. But technically on the NCLEX and nursing exams, it's normal. So remember, practice makes perfect. Try these methods on different ECG strips to build your confidence. And before we wrap up, here's a quick quiz to test your understanding. Use the six second method to calculate the heart rate on this strip. Pause the video if you need more time. The correct answer is 80 beats per minute. Did you get it right? All right, that's it for today's lesson on calculating the heart rate for an ECG. Remember, this skill is crucial for the NCLEX and your future nursing career. So keep on practicing and you'll master it in no time. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out our blog here for a condensed overview of this topic. So don't be scared, be prepared. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next videos.